Like the liberal liar that he is, the liberal minister of environment has denied any knowledge of what being woke means. He made this known on Thursday after the new leader of the Conservative Party, Pierre Polyvrou, accused the party of promoting a woke agenda. In the words of the liberal minister, frankly, I don't even know what it means to be woke. For those of us who may be unaware, the term woke is attributed to standing up against social injustice like racism and discrimination. Or at least that's what it was before the liberals bastardized the term and tagged it to everything abnormal that they did, like promoting transgender culture among Canadian children and forcing the younger population to question their gender and whether they should have been born as the opposite sex instead. Before we move ahead, Front Page News now has a Telegram group where we all can engage and talk about the issues that bother us and our country without fear of censorship. A reason the group was created is that we understand that not every comment you leave here is seen and engaged by others because of censorship, and we hope to remedy that with the Telegram group. The link to that is in the description. In one of his first speeches as leader of the Conservative Party, Pierre Paul Ivreux mentioned that the coalition between the Liberal Party and the NDP was a radical woke one. In his words, we as conservatives are always happy to work with any party to collaborate and advance and extend the interests of Canadians, but conservatives will not support any new tax increases and we will fight tooth and nail to stop the coalition from introducing any. Now how can a politician belonging to the very party that has been promoting the agenda of being woke claim that he doesn't even know what it means to be woke? I know that the liberals tell a lot of stupid lies, but this is a whole new low. But it is obvious what Gil Bolt is trying to do at this point, and it's the same as what Trudeau did when he ran away from the country to Rwanda when his party was neck deep in multiple scandals and was in danger of being roasted by the Conservative Party. He is trying to save his political career. I mean, the writing is on the wall and the Liberals know this. They know that they have messed it up so much that they may not become the government in power for a long time after the 2025 elections, which will surely oust them from office, and so politicians like Gilbolt are trying to disassociate themselves from the doings of the party, which in this case is the woke agenda, so they will look good to Canadians and probably retain their seats in Parliament at the next elections, even if their party loses the majority. If Gilbolt claims that he has no idea what the term woke means, then how can he explain his comment on environmental racism in the House of Commons so months ago? On the 26th of April, the Liberal Environment Minister supported a bill by Elizabeth May of the Green Party, Bill C-226, which would address environmental racism and advance environmental justice. In his words, the government supports this bill. I'd also want to thank her for her many years and decades of activism on environmental racism because it is a thing, despite what some people, unfortunately, even in the House, think. Recall what I said previously about what it means to be woke, and you will see how much of a liar Gilbolt is. Well, if Bill Bold is being sincere about not knowing what it means to be woke, then he only needs to look to his woke prime minister and party leader, Justin Trudeau, to understand what the word means. Trudeau has been the one centrally promoting a misinterpreted form of wokeism in Canada and the Liberal Party had been rallying around him with their support until recently, when they agreed that the party needed to return to the political center that they had historically occupied, something they wouldn't have considered doing if not for the fact that Paul Ivrou, who has been the most vocal about the atrocities of the Trudeau government, is now the leader of a major opposition party, the Conservative Party of Canada. I say that the version of the term woke which is being used by Trudeau and his liberals here in Canada and Biden and his Democrats in the U.S. is misinterpreted and bastardized because it is nothing like what the original inventors of the word the African Americans had in mind when the word was first used. The word was first used in a 1930s folk song by Lee Belly called Scottsboro Boys. The song is about a group of black teenagers who in 1931 were sentenced to death on fabricated rape charges by an overtly prejudiced Alabama court. In an archival recording, Lee Belly can be heard telling his praise you mubly black listeners to stay woke and avoid Alabama. So I, I buy the buy to be a little careful when they go along through that, but stay woke, keep the eyes open. At the time when Belly first used the word, it was a call for the oppressed to be aware of the social injustice meted out against them. And that's the true sense of the word before it returned in the 21st century with a new definition by the leftists that would make even Belly disappointed. And it is this new definition of the word, woke, that is being promoted by people like Trudeau to brainwash people into thinking that the word is a reference to everything society claims is oppression. And this is why people like pedophiles hide under the umbrella of wokeism, because they know that the dumb woke society would find an excuse for people to accept them as an oppressed part of the society. What are your thoughts on Gilbolt's denial of knowing what woke means even when his principal is running a core woke agenda in the country? Please leave your comments on this in the comments section down below. We would appreciate it if you hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet.
Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos moving forward. Thanks for staying with us and I will see you in the next one.